Hi everyone, Alicia Bhatt here. Today let's see how to make fresh buttercream for a fruit lime cake. I have my cake here and the rest of the ingredients that we need for decorating. Uh, we are using a fruit lined cake, fruit lined decoration we are doing. And uh, before we start, we make a little more buttercream, a small quantity of it. I already have some buttercream here, but I'll make a little bit more. My buttercream proportions are very easy, easy to remember. It's just a 1 is to 2. So you take one part of butter and two parts of icing sugar. So I, since I have uh, 100 grams of icing sugar here, I'll be taking 50 grams of butter. So this is a 200 gram block. So I'm going to make it into four parts and take just one part off of it. Okay. So let me just take one part out of it. Into a small bowl. And now I'll pour in my icing sugar in it. And mix it up a little. Mix it up like this. Right. So I'll just mix it up first. Let it be manually incorporated first. After that, we'll just give it a whisk in with an electric beater. So we'll get this out of the way. And the butter. Okay. Incorporating the sugar powder in with the butter. I use a very simple method of making buttercream. It comes out just as good. And all you do is swiftly mix mix the buttercream and the icing to this uh, you can add a little bit of uh, vanilla essence if you want to get uh, a nice flavored buttercream but I prefer to use just butter and icing sugar with a dash of milk just like half a teaspoon of milk in this so I'll be adding the milk much much later when it's almost done. Okay. So here it is. So now I've done on my little bit. Second. I think the powder is a little free so it may start rising Almost done. I'm just going to put a few drops of milk, just a few drops of milk. That's it. Okay. So, okay. So, I think this buttermilk is pretty much done. I'll put a couple of drops more. Yeah, that should do. As you could see when we started off, the butter was rather yellow, now it's becoming more white. When we are done with it, in a couple of minutes, it will be a lot whiter.
okay now I think this uh, buttercream is good to go uh, it's white enough and let us give it the test to see if it is of the right consistency so if it is of the right consistency when we turn the bowl upside down it should not drop so now I'm going to shake the bowl nothing's happening it's not dropping so it's fine so now I will transfer this into an icing bag Now let me show you how I prepare my icing bags. First I snip a little bit off over here and this bag I'm not going to uh, pipe directly through it. I prepare another bag here and this bag will go into it. So this is the one in which I slip the piping tip. So why I do this is that sometimes we have some extra icing and uh, I don't need to leave it with the tip and then it gets hardened so uh, then it becomes difficult to use it for the next time. So what I do is I slip it into this and then I keep it back in the refrigerator. I wrap it like this and keep it back in the refrigerator and use it whenever I want. So this is what I do and here it is drop the I drop the piping tip in and this bag goes in here yeah see so this is nice and neat my hands will be clean and it's easily reusable okay so like that